Hey, I want to start by first explaining how the uh, storyline chooses what version to play and then um, how we're going to hijack that process to make our mobile selection there. So first the story uh, HTML file loads into the browser and it checks the browser to see if I'm in a desktop environment or if I'm in a mobile environment. And then it chooses if it should display the HTML5 version of the course or the Flash version and some other variables in there. And that's when we're going to hijack the process. And we're going to add a check for the width and the height of the available screen area. And if it's taller than it is wide, then we're going to add the mobile path to that selection. And that way, it will select the mobile version on um, taller uh, screens. So now let's look at the differences between my two storyline files and then we'll look at the JavaScript that we added to the published output. So um, this is my desktop version and in my design view here I can see that it's uh, 900 by 506, decent size, and um, just pretty straightforward uh, tab interaction and stuff in there. Nothing fancy going on there. Um, when I pull up my mobile version I created, uh, essentially, um, I just kind of turn this sideways. Uh, I used the standard size for storyline, uh, but I did just turn it sideways there to, to make it taller. And um, the only other change I made is in the player settings, I turned off the menu and uh, I, I moved it up to the top, I should say, uh, instead of on the side. And that's primarily just for the demo. Um, in real life, if it was loaded on a mobile device, Storyline's responsive player would automatically hide that menu and move it to the, to the bottom there with the hamburger. Um, but because I knew that we would be looking at this kind of simulating the mobile environment, the size of a mobile environment, uh, using a desktop computer, I knew that it wouldn't, it wouldn't switch to that actual mobile view on there. So I just moved the menu so that it wouldn't be eating up uh, space on there. Might not be a bad idea to, to do in your courses, but it's not necessary for that. And then um, for the JavaScript, what we did is when, when you publish the course, uh, it's going to have uh, an index LMS if you're working uh, in, a, in a SCORM environment or LMS environment. And you're also going to have a story.html uh, file as well. Uh, so the LMS is going to launch this one, and if you just view it on the web, it's going to launch that one. So you can either edit the JavaScript in both or only the one that you care about. So in this case, um, to load it in an LMS, we would come to line 165 here, which is this return URL. And we're going to replace that with the logic that's on the, the blog post, the code that's on the blog post. So what this is doing right here is it's saying that once, once we have all this information, um, we want to format our URL uh, and then do the redirect. And so we're just going to replace that logic there. And I'm going to say that, um, so I'm starting with my folder uh, variable, and it's just empty. And then I get the width and the height of the course, and I say, well, if it's, or I'm sorry, the width and the height of the screen. And I say if if it's taller than it is wide, then we want to add, uh, well, this says mobile, but we're going, or says tall, we're going to add mobile to the path. So that's the, the mobile folder. And then we return the folder plus the URL uh, appended together there. So if it wasn't taller, then the folder variable would just be empty there, so it would return just the regular URL as usual there. And that's it, really. That's um, all it takes to get that done. As I mentioned on the blog post, you could make this more complicated. We could put some logic in there to determine if we're truly on a mobile device before we add that folder path, or um, if we're targeting very specific sizes, then we could add that logic in there. You might even have three sizes, maybe a landscape and a portrait and a desktop view. So you could add more folders and more logic in here to do that. Thanks. Uh, check out the blog post on elonbrothers.com.